All right, I know I am two weeks late with this, so it is very much too little too late, but in case you are still wondering and preparing for the exam, um, I did want to go over the only part that you missed on those questions that you emailed me about on the 19th. So again, I did, I went over um, your work and the only, the only thing that you had wrong was where is the graph of the function above the x-axis or below the x-axis. So what I did is I put those, <clears throat> the six graphs that um, were unfinished into Desmos, graphed them, tried to, some of them were bigger than the 10 by 10 square, but I didn't realize it until after I printed it. Um, and then I have your answer here, and then I have the answer that I would give. No, I have the graph, I have your answer. We'll find the answer together, and hopefully that clears up what they're asking of you. So basically, we know what the x-axis is, right? And the way, um, often the most confusing part is the way that we write it. So what we're doing is we're just looking at the x-axis and we're asking to mark on the x-axis where the function is above zero and where it's below zero. Okay, so um, I think it would be easiest to do it. And then once I have my answer, compare it to your answer. So you can, it doesn't matter if we do above or below first. Let's do above the x-axis. That means anything up here. We can, if you want, we can start with marking out any, here is that x is negative five. That looks like an asymptote. X is zero, looks like an asymptote. And it doesn't, oh yeah, sorry, it crosses at negative three. One, two, X equals negative three is an intercept. Okay, so we're talking about the x-axis, but the x-axis is actually where y equals zero. So we're talking about along the x-axis, how the function moves from positive to negative. Remember, we're just gonna assume that this never touches the actual x-intercept. So it is above the x-intercept from our asymptote of negative five to the intercept of x equals negative three. So I'm gonna say it's above between negative five and negative three. And then I'm going to say it's also above between zero and infinity. Good. I'm gonna say it's below everywhere else that's not an intercept or an asymptote. So we'll say it's below, below seems like a rip, right? Below will be this line. So that will be from negative infinity To negative five. And then it's also below from negative three to zero. Good. So again, we're just talking about here's the zero line. Is it is the graph in the blue? Or is the graph in the red? Your answer was we are above <clears throat> this line between zero and infinity. That is definitely true. We just want to also include this little line right here because this is also positive 
because we're not worried about anything except where it is on the x-axis according to the x-axis. Okay. You said it's below the x-axis between negative infinity and negative five. That is very true. And then you said from negative five to zero, I would disagree because negative five to negative three, it's above. Because we're just talking about, is it above or below this line? So that was your only mistake, is that this is actually above. So it's below for half of this. You said it was below for all of this. It's really only below for half of this. So we would change that from a negative five to a negative three. And then the other half, the negative five to negative three, we put up here. That was your only mistake. So we'll keep practicing. <clears throat> here, again, there's our below. There's our above. Good. Start with above. We are above the x-axis from negative infinity. Oh, sorry. Wait. I was going to start with marking. We don't have any intercepts. We only have asymptotes. So we are above the x-axis between negative infinity and negative five, as well as from positive five to positive infinity. We are below the x-axis between those two, right? From here to here, negative five to five. You have all the correct units, but just notice that this is above this is below because this is the line we're talking about just the line of y is zero if y is above zero We're talking about above or positive. Below zero on the y-axis, we're talking about below. That's all they mean. So you had all the right units between negative infinity and negative five is actually positive, right? That's that green positive. This one you had correct, it was below. And then <clears throat> this guy's actually above. It's kind of the same, yeah, but it's not. All right, for this one, you just wrote above is 65, below is zero. So again, hmm, we have to assume. They don't give us a ton of information. Um, I'm just going to assume that this. This crosses at the origin. So I'm going to say. We are approaching. We have an asymptote at X is negative five. We have an asymptote at this is not negative. This is not positive five. This is a four tricky and then this is an intercept at zero all right so what is above i like the green above is going to be this line and above is going to be this line so above you're looking at the x-axis it's going to go from everything along the x-axis negative forever negative to negative five and then it goes negative then we're going to go positive again 
it's going to approach and never touch four. So we'll start at four and go on forever in the positive direction. Below. I'm going to assume it's negative five to zero and then zero to a positive four because it goes all the way up. between negative five and zero. It might cross or reach the x-axis at zero, and then after zero, it'll go back down to four. So between negative five and four, it's below, or between negative five to zero and zero to four, it's below. This guy might I mentioned my graphs. I thought they were good, but then I printed them and they were missing some parts. So this graph actually continues like that down there and like that up here. So I'm going to say we are above the x-axis. The x-axis is at y equals zero. So we're above zero up until We're above the x-axis from infinity, negative infinity to x equals zero. We are below this line. So below just means everything down here. Oh, shoot. That's not true because I'm forgetting about this guy. Okay, I said from negative, nope. Look at me being wrong. Okay, I forgot about this guy. So I'm gonna say it negative 10. So this is below. Let's just start hand labeling each line. This is below and it goes from negative infinity. It goes from negative infinity to negative 10. Right? Well, let's look at this guy. This guy is above. This above goes from negative 10 to zero. Then we can look at this one. That's a below, right? So that's below from zero to positive 10. And then finally we have an above and it's gonna start at 10 and go forever. So from negative infinity to negative 10 or under, this line from negative 10 to zero, we're above this line. Excuse me, hold up. At zero, we cross the line again. So from zero to 10, we're below the line. And then from 10 to positive infinity, 10 to forever, we're above again. If I collect all of those, that is two above. So above goes from negative 10 to zero and 10 to infinity. And then below is these two, negative infinity to negative 10 and zero to 10. All right. Oh, sorry, we did not talk about what you did. For that one, you said we were above between negative 10 and zero, I agree. And we were above between 10 and infinity, I agree. You said we were below 
between 10 and infinity. Well, we can't write 10 and infinity was above and below. So below, I would say, is this one and this one. But you had both correct. This one again, I lost um, a piece of printing so I didn't zoom out hard enough. But it looks like our only asymptote is at x is 5, and there's an intercept at x is 2. And, oh, sorry, and obviously there's an intercept at x equals negative 5. So let's talk about the little different pieces, because I feel like that worked well for the last the last graph. So this is negative infinity to negative five, and it is below, right? Then we have this piece from negative five to two is above. And we're just worried about this line. From negative five to two, we are above that line. And then finally, from positive two, oh, not, not finally, sorry. From positive two to positive five, we're below. That wasn't the end because we're at this guy. Up here, from 5 to infinity, we're above. When I gather all that together, we have above at negative 5, 2, and 5, infinity, and then we are below at negative infinity, negative five, and two, five. Oh, you said you were close. Okay. Above, you said was negative infinity to negative five. That's below. We have the right units. Uh, and negative five, two. Negative five to two is true. Below, you said two to five. 2 to 5 is below. That's correct. And then 5 to infinity is above. So I think you just need these switched. You'd be correct. All right, last one. We just have a sweeping arc here and a sweeping arc here. That means one of our asymptotes looks like it's at x equals negative 5. We're crossing at x equal, we're crossing the x-intercept at negative 8. We, it doesn't really matter when we cross the y-intercept. We're crossing the x-intercept again at two. And yeah. Hmm, hard to read. It's a hard one to read. All right, I'm gonna say the easiest one to read is that this is positive. <laughs> So this is above. It's above and it is from two to infinity. This is below. And it is from whatever that intercept is, or sorry, whatever that asymptote is, negative four maybe, to two. And then here we have, we are above, I said that was negative four, so I'm going to say we're above until negative four. 
and beginning at negative eight, right? From negative eight to negative four, we're above. And then the last one is from negative infinity to negative eight. So my answer would be above is the blue. So negative eight to negative four and two to infinity. Below is going to be negative infinity to negative eight and negative four to two. Okay, I hope that helps. Oh no, let's go over what you did. Negative eight to negative infinity above, it's actually below. Uh, negative eight to negative four is above. Negative eight to negative four. Oh, so you just did this whole thing, this whole arc. And then below you said negative four to negative, negative four to positive two and two to infinity. So you kind of just did this was below and that was above. We're just looking at the x-axis. Okay, I hope that helps. Email me if it didn't. I again apologize very much for how long that took me to get back to you.